So this, 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 this is my introduction. This is my introduction to crystals. Crystals, 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 Christ conscious. Christ conscious, your reflection, your reflection. Christ, crystal clear. Do you hear me? Do you hear me in my crystal speak? Do you hear Jesus Christ speaking through you from the crystals and to your conscious and through the beings of unknown? It reflects everything that has ever shown you. Everything that you have been shown is reflected through the crystal. This is my introduction to crystals. I'm going to do a whole series on crystals and uh, running down uh, um, crystals. I know there's a lot of crystals out there, so I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. I'm going to do like the most famous ones first and the most well-known ones first, and then transition on to some lesser-known ones. So, crystals. What do I know about crystals, and what can I teach you about crystals? Crystals um, restore balance to the mind, body, and the spirit, and the soul. They help clear. They help cure ailments, and they help release trapped energy. Um, by this is also where you get the word uh, Jesus Christ from. It's a crystal form. Him being a, a perfect example of of a person we should follow he has because jesus christ has the potential um to be um has has uh, no we all have the potential to be a jesus christ we all have like that uh perfection within us a lot of people say we were born perfect which is true on one hand we were all born with um, everything we already need in life without thumbs you know we wouldn't be able to do the things we we can do now um, some people say we are born into sin, um, but whatever, you know, which one you believe, there's a, there's a right way and a wrong way to explain both of them. And at the end of the day, some of them can't be explained. And so with that being said, um, Jesus was like a crystal in the sense that he has that energy that um, we all want and we all want to be a part of. And like when he died... Um, all that energy got released into the ether and you know it's still out there i believe jesus is still walking among us right now some people say he wasn't real some people say um that he died and he ascended back into heaven whether or not uh what you believe the name jesus does exist so you know i believe he does exist um Crystals help release trapped energy because they contain the energy. They show you what you are to become. For example, if you were going to get a amethyst crystal, an amethyst sphere, amethyst is a very high vibrational crystal, um, which is all about the upper chakras, all about the um, so as above, so below. It's all about the um, the high vibrational crown in your third eye, all seeing eye and your clairvoyance. And this is going to show you that this energy is within you the whole time, just like um, Christ showed you. Crystals, Christ. You can cleanse your crystal by, um, uh, you can cleanse your crystal and you can charge it. And what cleansing means is to remove the energy a stone uh, has to return it to the ether. It makes it pure and, and uh, clean again so that you can give it an intent. For example, um, for example, amethyst, um, again, relating back to Jesus Christ, people would come to Jesus Christ for miracles. They would come to, they would come, people come to Jesus Christ when they need help because um, he is the rain bringer and he can wash away your sins or wash away your problems. So equating that to crystals, equating that specifically, um, let's use another example. Um, let's say you want a piece of jet. Jet is what's going to help you bring all your problems, all your negative problems to the forefront so that you can handle them. So you would, you would buy a piece of jet or you would get a piece of jet so that you can um, see all of your problems and um, first you would cleanse it so that whoever the previous owner was or whatever uh, previous um, 
notorieties or whatever energy was already in the crystal is cleared away so you don't take on um, that energy because you want your own energy or maybe you do want the experience maybe you want to experience some some random uh, energy that the jet had stored in it who knows it, you know it's all up to you there's no rules or right or wrong for the crystals but specifically if you want to cleanse it uh, um, Excuse me. You would cleanse it, and what this would do is you would you would you would have your piece of jet, and you would be like, okay, I want this specific problem brought to the forefront. I want um, why am I not getting any money? And it would show you all the blockages inside of you. Sometimes it would show you physically, mentally, or you know, you would just have a feeling and you'd be like, aha. That most of the time it would I feel like it would bring it to the forefront because jet is a piece that's all about the lower chakras, and the lower chakras are related to the physical world so nine times out of ten i feel like it would bring it to you in a physical sense um that being like you know something around you might break or you might bump into somebody or somebody so you know th that kind of stuff and you can charge your crystal and what this would do is this will replenish the stored energy after it has been depleted um this sets clear intentions for crystals used to make them to to and what you want to do is thank your crystals after each use thanking not not you know you could say thank you but um just knowing you know crystals are like people you know just you know you treat them as such um some people just you know it and there's a whole like and when i mean crystals are like people i mean them in a sense that like they are their own vibration they are their own beings so it's like you don't want and they should and crystals reflect energy also so it's like you wouldn't treat a person um the way you wouldn't want to be treated and the same thing with crystal because a crystal will um put that energy back on you um depending on you know the state of the crystal or you know your own being so it's like there's that too in in that sense and you know it, it goes deep but you know this is just like the basics and um you know i'll go a little deep here and there so some ways you can cleanse your crystals or you can use sage smudge you can use moonlight um that's the one i do most times is moonlight you can do uh, you can set them out in some rainfall or you can have them out in some sunlight um, some crystals can only take X amount of sunlight because um, and this is because um, some crystals like the energy and like they'll lose their color if they're out in the Sun too long um, some crystals you know don't want to be wet too long like uh, like like jet or like selenite some crystals like selenite also and like um, uh, certain clearer crystals like rose quartz and amethyst don't want to be out in the sunlight too long so I find that moonlight is the best way at least for me to cleanse my crystals and uh, a lot of people use sage smudge you can also use sage smudge um, to clear crystals um, you can also have a really large piece of selenite that'll that'll cleanse your crystals too and then you set your crystals on the selenite or buy them or whatever um, you can also if you have a sound bowl certain vibrations um, the vibration of the sound bowl when you play it by the crystals it'll like it'll it'll cleanse them and they they really like that sound like like i remember when i first got my sound bowl and i had all my crystals around and I rang it and I don't know like I felt like the crystals they really like that sound like sound bowl and there's different tones to a sound bowl and like other types so it's like just find the right one for you and what whatever resonates with you will resonate with your crystals because when you picked your crystals there was a certain um, bonding that took place and you picked them for a reason unless you just randomly grabbed some or you were gifted one who knows but um, whatever you like your crystals are gonna like they're, they're like your children in a way and it's like you know it, it's a piece of you it's a part of your soul also you can bury your crystals in, in dirt I have never tried this before um, I, I might give it a try one day but I I have never tried this before but a lot of people will attest to this one because it's like um, a lot of crystals can take it when you bury them in the dirt because like some crystals like depending on what they are can't take too much sunlight can't take too much um, 
rain falls so like bury them in the dirt in the moonlight also just time you know again crystals are like other beings and you know time heals all wounds so like you know over time crystals will if you've used up the energy in your crystal say you're, if you have a piece of amber and you've used up like all the happiness in there and like it just doesn't have any more to give and it's like you take it with you it's like it's not giving you the energy that it once did when you first got it so what you can do is you know just let it sit you know if you don't if you have a busy life you can't you don't have time to put it on the rain or in the moon or whatever just let it sit for a while and then once it comes back to you um after over a period of time it will you know have itself cleansed and uh yeah that's the last slide i have um a little more one last thing i want to say about crystals is um you when you treat them like people i don't mean in this in the sense that like you show them the res i mean you show them the respect that you would give other people but i mean it in the sense that like just you know if you don't believe in this stuff or if you don't believe because like i say you you really shouldn't like believe too much into into like anything because then you fall victim and you fall prey to it but if you don't like if you don't think this stuff is going to work for you then you know don't do it because then you're acting out of character like at the end of the day if you see like a, a piece of pink amethyst is just the fucking rock then you know that i can't change your perception of that that's just what it is this is just for people who are already on that frequency and that want to know a little bit more about crystals and that um i'm just here giving you like my two cents on them and you know a little bit about how i use my crystals i use my crystals are like you know they're they're part of me so it's like you know i play my video games for like a certain period of time and I, I i read a book when you know i'm feeling a certain way i pick up a crystal when i'm feeling a certain way or you know if i feel like i'm gonna go to a dangerous place or like a place where um a certain type of energy is needed from me i'll just bring a crystal with me um to, to bring out that energy in me and you know th that's what i mean by crystals like people so like if you're if you're going to like a place where you know hey my friend i would love to take my friend to go see this movie with me um my friend Jacob would be perfect because like he likes this kind of stuff. You would, you know, that's how you equate it to a crystal kind of thing. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching my little introduction on crystals. So now that this video is out of the way, um, there's other crystals that, you know, if you're, if you're interested in, just go search them up on my channel. And uh, yeah. Hopefully I did the slide for it. If not, it is coming on its way.